Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. I got home from the LA premiere of Turtles All the Way Down last night, and it was amazing. It was so special to be able to celebrate the movie with the people who made it, and also with Kirsten Dunst, and some of my YouTube friends, and Rosiana, and the cast was there, and my kids got to dress up and see one of my movies for the first time, and they loved it. It was incredible. It was so joyous. I didn't even have to fake my red carpet smiles, and yet. So right, I got back from LA last night. Later this morning, I fly to New York for press stuff for the movie, which comes out on Thursday, by the way. And I'm quite tired, not just physically, but also existentially, and a bit unwell. Overall, Hank, this is a pretty strange situation to be in because, one, I feel weird being anything other than overjoyed with my ridiculously, absurdly fortunate life. Like, to quote Taylor Swift, am I allowed to cry? To be able to publish the book at all, to have the book become a film, to love the movie, I have won a bunch of lotteries. Also, too, all my dreams are coming true, and I genuinely love the movie and the people who made it so much, and also I think it's a movie that's gonna help people, and it's extremely funny. All of that is true, and, and yet it is also true that, three, it is really hard for me to talk so much about my mental health and living with OCD and depression. I think it's important for me to talk about it. I want to be clear that people living with serious mental illness can also have full, wonderful lives. And and I think one way we destigmatize mental illness is by talking in public about it. But to be honest, I also feel like quite exposed and a little bit like uh, all of my nerve endings are, are on the outside of my body. Like, you know that insult thin-skinned where someone will be like, oh, they're just really thin-skinned? I am extremely thin of skin at the moment. Again, I am aware, or at least I hope that I'm aware, of the wild levels of entitlement involved in this. And I, I've avoided talking about it a lot in the past, but... Since the Fault in Our Stars movie came out 10 years ago, I have learned again and again that I'm just not very good at being properly famous. There are a lot of things about it that I like. I love people seeing and reading and listening to my work. I love getting to make awesome stuff with awesome people. But what I love most is Nerdfighteria, where I get to have an audience and be part of a community without feeling wildly overexposed and having magazines be like, there's a secret to John and Sarah's 18-year marriage. Spoiler alert, the secret is like, uh, mutual respect. Anyway, even though our entire social order is oriented around the worship of fame, there is a reason why so many people don't, like, survive celebrity. Fortunately for me, I will be home in Indianapolis in 72 hours and back to being, like, a middle-aged dad and nerdfighter. But for now, I need to be doing this because I really want people, and not just nerdfighters, to see this movie. Although I will say, it is it is a better movie if you are a nerdfighter because there are so many little love songs to our community. A couple days ago I was talking to a reporter about my OCD and how lately I've been living with the spiraling swirl of intrusive thoughts while also trying to, like, talk about the spiraling swirl of intrusive thoughts. And the reporter said, you know, I imagine this must be quite difficult for you, and I'm really sorry, and I while trying to say thank you, kind of burst into tears. It was a weird moment, obviously, not least because in that moment I realized, like, this person isn't a villain because they're asking this question, and I'm not a villain because I kind of resent the question and feel overexposed by it. We're both just trying to do our jobs. If there is a villain, it's some larger system that kind of seeks to dehumanize both of us in order to commodify art. But also I willingly participate in and greatly benefit from that system, so... It's complicated. So yeah, the last couple months have been a weird mix of being overjoyed and at the same time not doing that great. Life is pretty weird, and I hope we captured some of that complexity in the Turtles All the Way Down movie that comes out on Thursday. I really hope you like it and that you like it enough to like tell your friends and stuff because ultimately that's the only marketing campaign that matters. Hank, I'll see you on Friday.